Well, I see people doing unboxings all the time, so why not? Can you believe it though? This is simply one halogen <laughs> headlight, and yet this huge box. I guess they only had one size in stock. Ah, lots of packing, and there it is. Hmm. Oh, just the bill, I'm sure. And it's a H4 HL V5-1. And that's where I bought it from, superbrightleds.com. Let's see. Uh, first off, a filter kit of some kind to change the color to a yellow. I don't know if that shows up. And then... LED headlight itself. Oh. This is one of these new, I think I call them Gen 3's, where it has no um, fan built in, which is just another point of failure in my book. This is just a heat sink. And then I guess this is a voltage converter. 9 to 32 volts down to, I guess, 5 volts for this LED. That's a heavy unit. So the next question is, I guess my biggest concern is, will this fit in? Because there's the back of the bucket of the headlight shell. So I need some room to get that in there. And then finding a place to mount this, I'm supposing... That's what this little, that looks like an adhesive strip. But that's what, to keep this from bouncing around inside the headlight shell. Okay, next up, open up the headlight. Okay, the first step is to remove this glass uh, headlight cover. And um, some people might think these lines in here are uh, like what's on the back of your car, electronic defrosters, or electric defrosters. Well, they are actually defrosters, because when the headlight beam hits this dark color, it heats up. Hmm, pretty primitive, but eh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, to remove the, the glass is pretty simple. It's simply, let's try, start down here. Well, actually, I don't want to remove the glass. I just want to remove these little screws that are back here that hold this whole rubber um, um, bellows. I don't know what you want to call that thing, but it encircles the headlight. There's a tiny screw, and in my case, a, a Phillips screw each corner. Oops, that one's kind of tight. There we go. Yeah, that one should be loose. Let's see. Yep, see this whole thing now is loose on this side. And I know you can't see these screws. They're recessed in here quite a bit. Actually, I'm not even sure. Yeah, there's one in there. Hmm. I can't see it. So I need a flashlight. Ah, there it is. It's up a little higher than I thought. There we go. Last one. Is there a screw in there? Yep. There. Whoa. Put that away. Now this whole thing comes out. So you don't actually have to pull the glass out itself. And there. 
out are the little screws I was talking about. So set that aside. All right, now we need to pull off the headlight itself, or I guess this chrome ring, and it holds the lens and the, um, the reflector assembly. In order to do that, we need a small Phillips screwdriver. The screw is down underneath, so I have to actually, because of the fairing, tilt up a bit. And there it's in. Just keep on going. And I, if I remember correctly, the screw is captive, so you can't undo it. Well, that should be enough. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. It lips up and off. And that's what's at the bottom. A little clip. And then we simply pull this plug off. The H4 headlight. And we're ready to go. Okay, the next step is to remove the old H4 and then install the um, LED. Now, this is the bottom. This is that little screw I undone. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the little screw I undid to get the bucket or get this shell out, whatever you call it. You just simply on this bike squeeze these guys together and this spring, this very springy material, let's you pull the H4 out. And then these two closer tabs and then top, that's the top and that's the bottom. And it does have a direction because it has these little shields in there to throw the light the proper way. Okay, so that baby can sit over there. That'll become back up. Ah, I already see a problem. This has to go past this. This heat sink. I can drop that in easily enough. Put it in the proper direction. But now... Hmm. Well, let's see how springy this is. Well, it does go around. Oh, look at that. Good. Alright, that's in. That's one. And two. So that's it. And then, so now this heat sink is going to be the issue. I think there's plenty of room for that. Within my headlight bucket, I think the problem is where to mount that um, voltage divider, or whatever it is, that will take 9 to 32 volts and put out 5. I guess it can't be a divider. Well, no, I guess it can. 9 down to 5, yeah. So it's probably a heat sink. It probably needs a heat sink of some kind. I'll need to go online and actually read the directions because the directions that came with this are microscopic and I cannot read them. Okay, I've installed the voltage regulator, voltage splitter, whatever it is back in here. The piece that's going to connect to the headlight pigtail is up in here. And then the original um, headlight plug plugs into the um, voltage splitter adapter or whatever. down in here, get it out of the way, and let's see, yeah, that should do, it's tucked in nicely. Next we put in the uh, headlight. Okay, present the, the new 
headlight. There's a key in there to line this up. Let's see if we can get it. That's that way, okay. And that just screws down to seal the two pieces together. in, tighten up the disposal screw, Let's see if it powers on. Yes, very good.